welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nadira Jensen, and I'm so excited to see you all here. As you all know me, I'm a woman of faith, a woman of visions, thoughts, and dreams, meaning I believe that we all have been blessed with talents and gifts to fulfill a divine purpose here on earth. I created this YouTube channel to inspire you, yes, you, and all the other ladies out there to know that you all have purpose. We all have been blessed with talents and gifts to fulfill a divine purpose here on earth. And I also believe that we have been set apart to be the light of the world, the salt of the earth, and to represent God's character here on earth. And the purpose of this YouTube channel is to interview women of purpose all over the world to inspire other believers to step out in faith and to do what God has called them to do. We all have a calling on our life, each and every one in their own lane. So I am very, very excited for today because we have a very new special guest. <laughs> she is a woman of faith. She is a mother of three. She is a beautiful wife. <laughs> and absolutely a woman of purpose. She is a woman that follows her heart and faith and is now living the fruits of her hard labor. She is a TV host, a radio host, and gospel singer, <laughs> and one of the beautiful singers of the group Big Black and Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you beautiful <laughs> singer, Michelle David. <laughs> Thank you. That is beautiful. Yeah. Thank, that you. Nice. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. You know, I, I kept this one for myself, but you know why I'm so excited to why? have to interview you? Because <laughs> um, you were my singer, like, when I was way oh, back. Oh, yes. And to have this opportunity yes, to true. interview you, it's oh. a really privilege for me. Oh, thank yeah. you. I feel the same. I'm oh. very proud of what you're doing. Definitely, definitely wonderful to see a woman walk into her mm -hmm. own. You yes, know, it's really yes. wonderful. So uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Get ready because okay. I got some questions Come for on, you. Come on, let's get it going. <laughs> okay. What's the first scripture that comes up uh, to your mind right now? There's a scripture that I hold very dear. Um, it's a scripture that I learned very early. Mm-hmm. And um, it's the 100th song. I love make a joy, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. I love it, absolutely wow. love it. And I try to fit it in as much as I can in mm -hmm. places, but mm -hmm. that's the scripture that really stays with me okay. the most. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. What is your sword scripture? Like your fight scripture? My fight scripture. Yeah. Oh, I think. Um, it's the one I think we all learn. It's the first one that I know for sure <laughs> <laughs> that they taught me was, of course, the 23rd Psalm. You know, the Lord is my shepherd, yes. I shall not want. Ooh, you know, yes. and, and that keeps me. That, wow. that, that's enough for me, okay. you know. Yes. Or um, I'll go to um, Hebrews 11. Mm -hmm. And uh, faith is a substance of things hoped for. Mm, oh, the evidence of oh, things hoped So I... Yeah, those are the ones that I really wow. keep dear to my Wow, yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Yes. Um, Michelle, share with us, who is Michelle David? That's a good question. How, how long is your tape? <laughs> <laughs> it's everlasting. <laughs> you know, I often describe myself as being every woman. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that there's any such thing as a one dimension mm -hmm. when it comes to being a woman. You know, mm -hmm. we... Uh, we are nurtured into wearing so many hats and mm -hmm. being so many things to so many people. Yes. And so the, the only way I can truly describe myself is saying I'm every woman mm -hmm. because I can fit every situation at mm -hmm. any given time. Um, to try to narrow it down, mm -hmm. um, I am a woman of purity, mm -hmm. meaning not the sake of being you know holier than thou, mm -hmm. no. Pure in the form of what you see is what you get. Mm, yes, yes. I am my truest self mm -hmm. daily. And the more uh, and the older I get, the more pure I become. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Lord. I feel sorry. <laughs> I'm putting it out here right now. <laughs> For whoever come in contact with the older, older me, 
Because, oh my goodness, you know, I just let it go. Let mm-hmm. it, you know, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a woman um, who can be very diplomatic. Mm-hmm. I've learned the art of, you know, choosing my words carefully, mm-hmm. saying what I mean and mean what I'm saying. Yeah. You yeah. know, and in doing so, um, you, you have no choice but just to be as honest with yourself because yeah. I also want to be that way with other people. Yes. Um, Michelle is crazy. <laughs> but in a good way. Yeah. Um, Michelle is hopeful. Mm-hmm. Um, she's loving. She's uh, devoted. Mm-hmm. Driven. Mm-hmm. I am really a purpose driven mm-hmm. woman. Mm-hmm. Woo, I wish mm-hmm. I came up with that title. <laughs> um, uh, years ago, a friend of mine, uh, I can't even call her a friend. She's my, she's my other sister. I have a lot of sisters. And she gave me this book called Mm -hmm. The uh, Purpose Driven Life. Mm -hmm. And um, while reading that, I realized exactly who I was Mm -hmm. in the scheme of things, what my purpose was, Mm -hmm. what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm really a driven woman in Mm -hmm. everything that I do. I am driven because I believe that I have been spiritually led Mm -hmm. to do those Mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not a person who... uh, will wake up in the morning and if you say good morning I'm go God is good no I'm not that type of person mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. You know, I don't feel like I need to do that mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think my journey mm-hmm. and when you see me because I am in the mm-hmm, entertainment business mm-hmm. you will see okay there's a light there's something yes yes there's yes, something, yes you know mm-hmm. um I am shy mm-hmm. <laughs> Michelle is shy although I'm out yes. I, I have my moments mm-hmm. um I'm I'm just a genuine person Mm-hmm. Yeah, just a genuine person. Mm-hmm. Without making that list really long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, when did your faith walk really started? So you said as a kid you used to go to church with your parents, but when did you decide it for yourself uh, to just to get to God's heart? That's a good way of putting it. Um, I have to say I don't know life without God. Mm-hmm. Um. But it is true, when you're young, you're you're led, mm-hmm. and at some point you do have to take it over from yourself. Yes. So I would have to say, when I um, at a certain point I stopped going, mm-hmm. somewhere in my late teens, I think, mm-hmm. I was like, I love you, Lord, but I don't feel like going to church today. Mm-hmm. So I took, mm-hmm. a, I took a little break, and because I did, what mm-hmm. you're saying, I needed to find him for myself, yes. and I knew it then. Yes, yes. And I have to say, it's probably... Um, Somewhere at the end of my teens and my early twenties, okay. when okay. I realized, okay, I'm going for me, yes. and I need yes. to be there for me, yes. and this is who he is in my life. Yes, yeah. beautiful. Yes, yes. Can you share with us, especially those who don't know you yet, the talents and gifts that you have and how you are using it to uh, add something to this world, so to, to fill the divine purpose that you have. Hmm. Um, I have to say that I'm finding out new talents every day. Every day. Mm-hmm. So um, the ones that I'm like, oh, you can do that as well, uh, would be painting. Mm-hmm. I like to draw. Okay. However, um, my drawing usually comes when I'm angry. Oh. I can really. But I'm learning that I also can do it when I'm in a happy oh. mood. <laughs> it's, it's a different kind of painting. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I, I can't paint. Um, I write. Yes. Um, I'm a singer, dancer, actress, director. Um, I at some point, and I don't know when that's going to actually happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to direct uh, a short film. Mm-hmm. There, there's a there's something that's been playing in my head okay. for several years now, okay. and um, mm-hmm. I need to get it out. Wow! So I think there's a side of me. Um, that wants to get into that yes. area yes. because uh, you know being in the theater mm-hmm. um, I have produced shows mm-hmm. on my own mm-hmm. and I have directed that mm-hmm. way so I want to transfer it so I have that um, all the things that okay. come with the art form, nice, you know? nice, nice. Uh, but the writing I love to mm-hmm. write definitely love to write I think there's going to be a book at some point oh yes I, yeah, I, I'm waiting for that yeah, I already yeah, told you somewhere, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, somewhere yes. that's coming yes. uh, um, and yeah I think that's it. oh I am 
a secret. Well, that's not, not a secret because I put it on Facebook. But I'm also a makeup artist. Oh. But I'm more, <laughs> I'm more of a makeup artist where look at what I'm doing and you can do it too. Yes. Like I can't really teach you, teach yes. you. You know, it's yeah. more of a okay, we'll do it together mm-hmm. so I can mm-hmm. show you yes. how to bring it out of yourself. Yes. Yeah. Because so. the makeup that you do before your show, because I see you on Facebook yeah. and I see photos coming by, yeah. you do it yourself. Yeah. Oh. I do it. Um, I love makeup artists. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I have such an admiration mm-hmm. for them. Um, but I like to do my own because it's my own therapy. Yes. Before the show, it mm-hmm. calms me, and I don't have to really think about. Oh my god, I'm about to go on stage. <laughs> I gotta sing. Do you know the words? <laughs> oh no. You know. So yeah. I do the makeup, and I know that there are some women out there, or even men, who feel mm-hmm. that. Makeup is so uh, superficial, mm-hmm. you know. It's mm-hmm. like why you want to look like somebody else. Actually, makeup help has helped me appreciate what I have. Mm-hmm. You know, I have actually looked in the mirror and said, you know, I used to think that my nose was really, really big. Mm-hmm. No, you have a beautiful nose. Mm-hmm. Or I really yeah. have learned to appreciate the structure oh. of my face mm-hmm. and the shape of my eyes yes. because of the makeup of wanting to try new things mm-hmm. and going. You know, yes. so it was a whole new discovery. Um, I think at one time, I was like, ah, doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. And I started to, and I think a lot of women can relate to this, mm-hmm. especially when you start having children, mm-hmm. you have a husband and everything. You give so much of yourself, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you give so much of yourself at home. Then I get on stage and I'm giving so much of myself there. Mm-hmm. When it comes time to give to myself, I'm exhausted. Yes. <laughs> yes there's nothing <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want to pamper myself. I don't want to, you know... And I had kind of fallen out of touch mm-hmm. with with me, mm-hmm. and um, so makeup helped me to mm-hmm. get back. Made me have to think oh, about myself and yes. how I look, and yeah. Wow. So it, it sort of saved me. Yes. Anyway. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, you said that's terri- terri- yeah. terri- yeah. yeah. therapeutic. Yeah. 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 It's therapeutic. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Beautiful. Absolutely. So I have that as a talent, and uh, there's a couple other. <laughs> and I, I want to be on the list for yeah. auditions for when you're going to make a movie. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. I'm going to hold you to okay. that. Okay. Because okay. <laughs> I got some crazy roles. I got my oh, acting Oh, okay. Things. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to call on you. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> um, when did you know you really had to do something with the talent and the gifts that you have? Did you, like, receive the dream or was there a softly pushing in the spirit? Um, once again, my life has been all about my talent. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's not of any of my own doing in the Mm -hmm. beginning. It was because of my aunt who raised me. She Mm -hmm. saw something that I didn't even know existed. Mm -hmm. So I've always been in some type of dance class. Uh, I never took singing lessons. No, never did that. That's weird, right? (laughs) I ended up being a singer, but I never taken singing lessons. Um, but I was always in some type of acting or anything that dealt, mm-hmm. dealt with the art. Mm-hmm. So um, I don't know life without it. Okay. You know? Yes. Um, I thought I was going to be a, a modern dancer. That's what I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be in the Martha Graham Company or the Alvin Ailey. I mm-hmm. wanted to, I wanted to uh, just throw myself all over the floor. And <laughs> and I knew that early because mm-hmm. yeah, of my training. Yes. And going to the high school of performing arts and So it's always been a part of me. It didn't come late, the singing. Now that's the part where Mm -hmm. I had to make that switch. Um, I had a couple of injuries uh, while dancing, Mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, maybe this is not going to work. Because they were drilling your head, you know, uh, if you're 23 and you're still dancing, you're lucky. Mm -hmm. I was like, Mm -hmm. oh my God, I'm injured at 21. What happens? You know. So um, I stopped altogether, and I went into medicine Mm -hmm. for eight years. And just by chance, I started going on auditions, and yes. my life would lead me here. Wow. Yeah. So you were in the medical field? I was in med- yeah. For um, eight years? Yes. I have my papers and everything. Wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. You also worked in it? Uh, I worked in the yeah. hospital, yeah. which is how I met my husband. Oh, wow. And um, I worked <laughs> in the operating room. Okay. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I have that background. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Told you I'm every woman. Yeah. <laughs> I was not telling the lie. Yeah. Wow. <laughs>
we're going into 2018 since yes. 2000 since yeah. 2000. 2000, 2000. So, um, I never imagined mm-hmm. being in a in a girl group. Uh, I came over as a soloist, mm-hmm. so that's what I thought I was gonna be. Yes. Um, it's been wonderful. Mm-hmm. It's been a learning experience. It's been a wonderful experience. Of course, you have your ups and downs, but that's how you grow. Yes. Um, I think what keeps us together mm-hmm. is the um, respect that we have for each other mm-hmm. as women mm-hmm. and as the artists. We really admire what each one of us brings to the table. Okay. And um, it really is a democracy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it's not like, okay, well, you're going to tell me what to do. No, I'm going to tell you. No, 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 no. We, we, if we don't all have that ah, Mm-hmm. Then no, it's not happening. Yes, yes <laughs> you know what yes, I mean. Yes, Everybody yes. has to agree. All yes. parts have to be in yes. alignment, mm-hmm. and um, I have to say it, it's worked out pretty well. Okay, yeah. okay, beautiful. Yeah. Um, um, Michelle, um, so what is um, uh, the key that uh, holds a group of three strong, different black women together? Um, like I stated before, I think. The first and foremost most is respect. Mm-hmm. Um, I find that if you do not have that at all, mm-hmm. I mean at all, it's not going to work. You know, mm-hmm. I'm mindful that um, I'm in the presence of two other women mm-hmm. who are just as awesome as I am. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to allow you. Of course, we have to allow each other to have our own opinions, mm-hmm. our own thoughts, our own. Someone may have um, more expertise in A and you have more expertise in B. Doesn't mean that you're stronger than I am. Mm-hmm. And blah, 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 blah. Yes. Because you know us women can. Mm-hmm. No, we don't have that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, that takes away from what needs to be done. Yes, yes. True. And we mm-hmm. have a lot to do. Yes. You know. Yes. <laughs> and the world around you is going to have enough of it. Yes. So we don't yes. need that within the group. No, you no, know? no. So no. that uh, is, is the first thing. Um, and we have the same amount of love and respect for what we do. Oh, beautiful. The artistry yes. within itself. Yes. We respect the music. We respect uh, the skills that it takes mm-hmm. to do what needs to be done. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, we all, we're constantly, constantly uh, trying to grow mm-hmm. and, and learn more. Mm-hmm. And we motivate each other. Yes. To do better and do mm-hmm, more mm-hmm. and yeah that that has kept us so far okay yeah beautiful yeah. oh um do you guys like ladies also um outside of um work meet up with each other not as often as i would like <laughs> or <laughs> that we're able to because mm-hmm. we're all really really busy yeah. you know yeah. um so mm, no but we do have our moments we say okay time for that that dinner yes, okay we get yes, together yes. um and usually when we do a theater show we're with each other for like six months mm, you know yes, yes anywhere from four to six months yeah. every day all yeah, day yeah. so there are periods where i see them more than i see my own family wow, yes. and we share a dressing room together so yes. no one is separated ever okay yes you wow, know we yes. never and people are like really you don't have your own room and she ha- no wow. No, 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 no. We find a room. If that room is not big enough, we find in another room. Wow. Because wow. we had it one time, I think mm-hmm. it was the last show, that we found that, uh, oh, oh, we don't have to be separated? It was such a weird feeling. We're like, really? We're going to be separate? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> wow. wow. We're not doing that. We we have never done that, yeah. and we're not going to start oh. that now. You know, because yes. it was a spacing thing. Yes. You know, we found a way. We're going to be with yes. each other. And we did. Wow. Um, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. The funniest thing, even if we have had an irritation mm-hmm. within, mm-hmm. you know, okay, you yeah. get on my nerves, you mm-hmm. get on, I don't want to talk to you today, whatever. Mm-hmm. We still stay with each other in the dressing room. Mm-hmm. No one ever branches off. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we'll just sit there with the music on because we always have music and we'll be quiet. For the most part, we're, yeah. <laughs> laughing, joking, you know, it's yeah. always something. But you have your moments, you know, maybe you don't feel well, maybe it's that time of the month, you know, you're yeah. quiet or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But we're always in each other's. Together. Yeah, together. It's beautiful. And um, I love that. Yes. Absolutely yes. love that. Yeah. Yes. You need that bond. I mean, yes. we are women who are surrounded by men mm-hmm. all the time. A mm-hmm. lot of men, mm-hmm. you know. So mm-hmm. it's nice to have your sister girl next to you that 
you know, yes, you, yes, you need that. Who yes. understands even without you saying anything. Mm -hmm, you know how mm -hmm. I'm feeling today. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You know, so. I think that's also then the power of the group because you're all like bonded. You're all yeah, one. Yeah. You're not three separated. No, people. no. Well, we're three individuals mm -hmm. that know how to come as one. Yes. 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 Because it is important to have your own identity. Yes. Oh, absolutely. That absolutely. is very important to yes. know who you mm -hmm. are and what you can bring to the table yes. because you can get lost. Yes. Yes. Not a case with this group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's getting lost. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, no, and, and it's mm -hmm. it's it's been it's been great. It's okay. Been great. Okay. Well, that leads me to my next next question. Okay. Um, so, as a, a singer, a creative artist. Uh, entrepreneur, how do you stay true to your uh, to your to your to yourself and the woman God created you to be? Because I know in the creative industry, in the entertainment industry, there can be a lot of um, influences that distracts or uh, goes against God's principles and values. Mm -hmm. How do you withstand that and that you are sure that you stay the woman, the authentic woman that God created you to be? Um, I have to give that mindset or that ability to do those things, I have to give that credit to um, my foundation, which mm -hmm. it would be my aunt, my mother, um, the people that were, that my aunt surrounded herself with, mm -hmm. uh, very strong women, mm -hmm. very strong women. Um, I remember my godmother was a minister and she used to st say things like, think big, Mm -hmm. Act big, eventually you will grow big. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's mindsets like that. Like mm -hmm. you have to, even if you're not sure that that's where you want to end up, that's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at least have some plan of mm -hmm. where you're going and how you're going, and or or say I'm open. I'm mm -hmm. open. However, being open doesn't mean that I'm a compromise who I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, I'm open to ideas and new mm -hmm. new developments. Like I said, I wanted to be a dancer. Here I am, a singer. Yes, yes. You yes. know, I'm open for that. Yeah. However, uh, you're not going to make me go against the fact that, uh, well, Michelle, you know, you could, but you're not that good. Stand in the back. Nope. Mm -hmm. Then you're not for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to tell you I have not had those situations, mm -hmm. you know, where I find myself like, wait a minute. Uh, am I feeling a little less than? Mm -hmm. No, then this is not the place for me. Yes. Because that's not how it was designed. Mm -hmm. I was taught, if you're a tree, be the best Ooh, tree that you can be. Be an awesome tree. <laughs> yes. You yes. know, and I think, and I'm not sure who said it. It might be Shakespeare who said there are no small parts but small actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, nah, mm -hmm. I wasn't raised that way, mm -hmm. you know. So I've had my challenges, but my core mm -hmm. is together. Um, I love God, and I, I know that, you know, to err is human. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. But I am very conscious and very quick with my assessments of, mm -hmm. okay, if I do that, am I going to be able to live with the ram ramifications of mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Can I deal with the aftermath? Now, mm -hmm. if you've grown, you know, big, grown, and sexy enough that you can deal with it, then fine. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, and yeah. I have said, yeah, okay, I'm going to get, yeah, I can deal with it. But no, 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 no. My core, yes. mm, mm -hmm. it will tell me. It will yes. let me know. It will yeah. let me know. And, um, so I'm able within this business, which is very hard, mm -hmm. to, to keep my core together mm -hmm. and to say, okay, but God didn't put you out here to act a fool. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, you're going to make mistakes, but at least don't be a fool, you know. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have you encountered like mountains and giants on your journey towards your purpose? And how do you tackle them? There's a song, uh, oh, I'm trying to see if I even remember the words to it. Uh, I don't feel no ways tired. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody mm. told me that the road would be easy. Yes. But he, Mary, he, Mary? He, he's brought me this far to, yeah, yes. but they didn't make that song. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's all okay. older than me. Okay. But, um, yeah, uh, I've had some hills and, and mountains to climb, but I early in my early stages, knew that already. Mm -hmm. I, I was, even though I was young, even in my single digits, I was still old. Mm -hmm. I was surrounded by a lot of old people mm -hmm. and I listened to them and I felt that I was the same like them. Like, you know, the Lord's going to make a way. You know, even yes. at seven, you know? <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, I just take it as, you know, he brought me this far, but he's not going to leave me. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be all right. Yes. You know, yes. it's going to be all right. And even now, sometimes mm-hmm. I find myself, like, oh, okay, what am I, what's going to happen? And I'm talking to my husband. He said, but Michelle, always works out. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> so there's a reason that I need to, mm-hmm. you know, climb this. It makes me stronger. Because I've never had an easy journey. Mm-hmm. Never. Mm-hmm. I, I've, I've had to work for everything. Mm-hmm. But that's okay because that does build character. Yes. yes. You know, and yes. sometimes, believe it or not, the journey is better than the actual destination. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Absolutely. Beautiful. When you look back on and you're like, mm-hmm. I climbed it, that's it. That's all that's up here. But then it was like, but down while I was coming up, it was awesome. You know, wow. it was a snag, it was a this, it was a that. So sometimes that's even better than when you actually get the result. Yes, I heard that many times before. Oh, it's yeah. about the process. It's about, about the, the process. Final destination. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Yes. I can tell you that for sure. Wow. Yeah. So um, remember, ladies, it's about the process. And the character that uh, yes. your character that is being and pay told. attention to it. You know, sometimes you're going through it and you think, oh God, it's so hard, uh, uh, mm-hmm. and you just uh, stop. Okay, I had to go through the mud. I had to take a bus, a train, a boat. Whew, that was heavy. What did I see on that bus, mm-hmm. train, and boat? How did I feel when I went through the mud? Did it smell beautiful though? Can mm-hmm. I bomb that? Can I put it on my skin? You know, there's yes. so many things that you can yes. think of. And go, I saw so and so, and she gave me a smile. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's yes. so many things that it can give yes. you comfort, even through the the, the struggles yes. and the tribulations. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Cause, yeah. Because I think, like in life, sometimes um, we want to go so fast, and that we forget to um, that do like um, reflection, self reflection, and that we for- forget to um, yeah um, count the steps, the little steps. Now it's really hard now, especially, um, and I'm talking about the, the new generation mm-hmm. where you know you turn on the TV and someone does something off Sunday, instant star. <laughs> yeah, like I call it the in, the microwave, like the microwave generation. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, <laughs> oh, she's a star. Yeah, she's a star. And then you sit and you talk to them, and you know you can say something to them, and they'll probably go, "How did I get here?" Oh, but I'm here. Yeah, but how did you get there? But I'm here, you know, and and my thing is, oh, I can tell you how I got here. <laughs> mm, yes, yes, yes. I can tell you, yes. oof, how I got yes. here, and I can tell you that it's. I, I I tend to see that when you, the longer you take to get to a certain mm-hmm. place, more appreciation Yo. kicks in, mm-hmm. and you last longer when yes. it goes. Mm, when you go, yes. that oh, fall is deep. Yes. It's just it's. You know what I mean? It's, yes. it's hard, and, and if you didn't learn anything along the way mm. to sustain mm-hmm. you, because you can get there fast. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying, hey, do your thing, boo, mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. hope you, you know, I hope yes. you having a good time. But if you didn't learn anything mm-hmm. before you got there, yeah. if you weren't prepared Ooh. Ooh. for what's there, oh, trust me, you're going to fall. Ooh. You're going to fall hard. Ooh, no, no, you do not want that. <laughs> no, 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 no. You no. need some of these. Uh, how we say um, getting your feet wet yes. you know and, mm-hmm. and you need that to help sustain you while you are there because it's truly a jungle the, especially in the field that I'm in mm-hmm. I'm sure every you know job has its own mm-hmm. you know strives yes. and stuff. I mean not strives but the the music industry whoo yes yeah because you yeah well you see a lot you hear a lot a lot of people that just made it in one day and then how hard they felt exactly and if you're one of those people that uh, someone saw you because they they feel as if they can mold you into something that they mm-hmm. want like mm-hmm. I, I watched the story of Whitney mm-hmm. can I be me oh mm-hmm. my goodness and I mean she lasted a long time yes. you know, her, mm-hmm. her career mm-hmm. but she wasn't fully happy because mm-hmm. she was made into oh. a certain image yes. industry in, yes. in, in the, I can't say the word I'm sorry <laughs> into this can certain image Dutch? Nayor, <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> Let me just say that I can't even talk. But you know, there was this vision that they had, and they created her. Yes. yes. And she really did not live her true self. Mm, you know. Yes. Oh. And in the end, yes. Look what happened. Yeah. 
she yeah. self destruct. Yes, she was. was yeah, yeah self destruct. I, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I believe that is one of this is one of the, um, the biggest war that you can have. Yeah, not being able to be yeah, yourself. To be yourself. It's really something about that because uh, there's always that fear mm-hmm. factor on on so many levels. You know, the fear from other people. Oh God, if she's herself. Lord, are we gonna lose money? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, she's too much of herself. Yeah. What is the public gonna say? You know, and and then she's like on the other end, like, can I be myself? Mm-hmm. Will I be accepted as mm-hmm. myself? You know, and it's just, mm-hmm. oh, it's too much. Wow. It's too much. And I always, you know, I um, I used to coach, and mm-hmm. um, I used to tell people, listen, fifty percent are gonna like you, fifty mm-hmm. percent aren't. Mm-hmm. Who you gonna cater to? Yes, that yes. truth is in the middle there. Yes. The true you is in the middle yes. of this. Take care of her. Yes. No matter what it is. You're going to always, you know, you might not have thousands and thousands of people who mm-hmm. come and see you. You mm-hmm. might have 10, but mm-hmm. that might be the right 10. Yes, yes, yes. You know, yes. I don't want a room filled with 50, 60,000 people, you know, and they really hating you. Exactly. But it's all for, oh, for a show, for a mask. Give me 150 people who are like, girl. Yes, yes. You took off those lashes. Your hair is just disheveled, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you are speaking to me. (laughs) You know, give me that, give me that, and that that can only happen. I feel if you just be yourself. Yes, Yes. somebody will make that connection. Yes, you know. I think you will ultimately, yeah, you will fall. Yeah, especially in the entertainment, you will find your following. Yes, you'll find your following. Hmm. If you could say something, oh, I love this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you could say something to your younger self about life, about hope, faith, and dreams, what would it be? I'm talking to the younger me. I would say stress less. Stress less because you will be where you need to be. I'm gonna write that one up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being authentic now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think um, when I look back on it, uh, especially your teenage years, yes. you know, mm-hmm. you you're still trying to find yourself between that teenage to becoming an adult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As a woman or even a man, you go through so many changes. How do I look? You know, mm-hmm. how do I sound? Mm-hmm. What am I going to be? Does he like me? Does she like mm-hmm. me? Do they like me? You know, you go through this whole thing. Am I worthy? Am yeah. I the, Oh, you know, yeah. you go through the whole thing. And it has nothing. And it doesn't matter what your faith is mm-hmm. when it comes mm-hmm. to that. That's mm-hmm. just a design that's mm-hmm. put inside mm-hmm. of us as a human being. Yes. You go through phases of your life. Um, thankfully, if you're brought up in a home that they're aware of those things mm-hmm. and they talk to you and say, listen, you're going to feel like this today, mm-hmm. but you're going to be like that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's all of, it's all the process that you need to go yes. through to mm-hmm. become an adult yes. or to become the better you. Mm-hmm. So I did have that, you mm-hmm. know, but mm-hmm. of course I had my little moments, you mm-hmm. know, especially when you go into the whole little boyfriend, girlfriend thing, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. but if I had to talk to her, I, that's the part, stress less. Mm-hmm. You don't have to stress. You mm-hmm. don't have to worry because you will end up being where you need to wow. be, you know, yeah. and and if you're walking by faith, mm-hmm. um, we're co we're co pilots mm-hmm. on this road anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, there are mm-hmm. things, and this is this is a big subject, um, because in my earlier years I went to Catholic school, mm-hmm. and um, there was the whole religion you had religion class, and there was mm-hmm. the whole things about predestined mm-hmm. and destined and, mm-hmm. and you know things that's already designed mm-hmm. God has already designed it okay if, if it's already designed mm-hmm. then why do I need to do anything because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, already, it's already designed so you mean me going like this was already written down you know yeah. there's, so, there's so many <laughs> so many things we're co-creators because we do have free will mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know there yes. are things that are written but you do have free will mm-hmm. there's good bad mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. there's this whole yes t- Yes. But in the end, mm-hmm. from what I'm seeing now, everything that I have gone through has led me to this present mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. And this present moment, I am content because I have, on some levels, especially with my career, exhaled. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and stop stressing. What will be will be. What mm-hmm. is for you is for you. Mm-hmm. No matter how hard you try, if it's not really meant for you mm-hmm. to go through that door, you're not going to go through that door. Mm-hmm. Now, you might go. This is something I came up with today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm all over the place. But <laughs> um, um, God does answer prayer. Mm-hmm. He answers. He does give you your heart's desires. Mm-hmm. He gives you what you need. Mm-hmm. He gives you what you want. Mm-hmm. He also doesn't answer prayers. Mm-hmm. Now, that's a, that's a big one. Mm-hmm. Somebody say, no, God always answers prayer. No, not all the time. Mm-hmm. There's sometimes where he makes you wait mm-hmm. for that prayer mm-hmm. because that was not meant for you. Mm-hmm. I could give it to you, but what's behind that, mm-hmm. you're not going to like. Mm-hmm. You're not going to mm-hmm. like. And so... Um, there are moments where I'm like, it's okay. It's it, within what I just told you. Yes. It's going to work out. Yes. It's going to be all right. Mm-hmm. So, little Michelle, chill. Yes. <laughs> um, Michelle, um, what would you want people to take home after visiting one of your performances, one of your shows? My desire for every show is that um, I actually stole the quote from Dorinda Clark. <laughs> Go. I heard her say it one day, and I don't want, I want people to not leave the building the same way they came. Mm. I really want people to leave and say, wow, for an hour and a half, two hours, even 45 minutes, however mm-hmm. long mm-hmm. the show was, I really felt love. Mm. I want people to feel the essence of love, mm. and I hope that when they leave there, mm-hmm. um, that they have enough of that to sustain them for however long they need it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, what would you uh, like to share to any woman out there that has no creative ideas, no inspiration, but inside of her she knows that there is something she has to do? But then she's inspired. <laughs> <laughs> if you have that, that's all you need. Mm-hmm. If you have that one little, you know, we talk about faith as being um, you know, you can have as much as a little mustard seed mm-hmm. and that's all you need. All you need is that just burning desire mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. something. You don't know what, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. something. And that's what I mean by opening yourself. Mm-hmm. Because once you have that uh, type of feeling, then you are saying to the universe is letting you know, okay, mm-hmm. I need you. Yes. yes. I need mm-hmm. you to come forth and mm-hmm. give us mm-hmm. what you have. Mm-hmm. And if you're not sure at that moment, just keep saying, okay, but I know there's something. Yes. I know there's something. Mm-hmm. Use me. Yes, yes. Use mm-hmm. me. Help me to see, help me to hear, and it will happen. If that's your true desire, mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. will happen eventually. Mm-hmm. And have patience. Mm-hmm. That That's the biggest downfall for us, period, as women, and I want to say people of color. <laughs> patience. It will mm-hmm. happen, yeah. Because you want to be sure. Uh, I think we can get involved in anything and everything mm-hmm. because it's out there. But is it the right thing to get involved Ooh, in? Yeah. So you really need to be patient and listen and really hear that inner spirit mm-hmm. letting you know, okay, move. Mm-hmm. Don't move. Mm-hmm. Um, I find for myself that my my inner being or my instincts or whatever I want to call it, mm-hmm. she talks very loud. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I close the door on her. <laughs> And that's when I get in trouble. Because <laughs> she's so freaking loud. She's just loud. Wow. You know? And she's like, no, 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 no. And I'm like, what? Michelle, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. You know? <laughs> I had enough of you. You know? But um, but I love her because she does mm-hmm. speak. And I, I am, you know, and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. You know? But patience. Yes. Patience. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what is uh, the future vision that you have for Michelle Davis? What is going to be your next step? Um, I used to work in the realm of how do I see myself in five years. Mm-hmm. Um, up until a certain period, those things were fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Now I don't do that anymore, mm-hmm. and I don't necessarily have a complete vision. Mm-hmm. I am really to the point in my life where I'm like, okay, God, you know me, mm-hmm. you know what I can do, mm-hmm. you know what I haven't done yet, but I will do, and can
can do. Mm-hmm. Just lead me to it. Mm-hmm. Because I know whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, yes. I can sit here and tell you, yes, you know, I see myself in a particular building, mm-hmm. you know, in front of thousands. Mm-hmm. And yes, I want to. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm so open mm-hmm. because I know all that will come is just incredible. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. So, what my desire is, mm-hmm. is to continue. Mm-hmm. Bringing the music that I'm bringing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, keep myself healthy. Mm-hmm. Keep myself mentally fit. Yes. Spiritually ready. Mm-hmm. Continue to be a soldier. And the rest will come. Wow. The rest will come. Wow. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Powerful. I've done my uh, Michelle bucket list, yes. so to speak. Yes. I've done it. And I can't put anything more to it. Because what Oprah said was God's desire for us is far bigger than any dream that we could ever have. So in that case, I can't tell you. Yes. Because my mind, I can't tell you. It's so phenomenal that I can't even say it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But when it happens, I'm going to think of this moment and I'm going to say, call me back. Because we we got a lot to talk about. We got a lot to talk about. <laughs> wow. Yes. Uh, beautiful. Yes. You don't want to fill in the blank, the blank for God. No. 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 I'm not. No. Who am I to fill it in for him? <laughs> no. Uh-uh, no. Because he, his, his visions and his insight is far greater than anything I could imagine. Oh. There are part. You know, it's funny. They said there are parts of our brains that we haven't even tapped oh. into yet. Oh yes. God's yes. arena. Oh yes. I don't even know what's I don't mm-hmm. even know what I should be dreaming about yes, or for. Yes. Because it's so massive. Exactly. Yes. Oh, that alone makes yes. me so excited. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, um, you talk about praising. Yes. Oh my God. I'm praising him in advance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so no, yes. that's how I'm gonna answer that question. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. Absolutely true. Yes. Absolutely true. Or, or else we'll put ourselves in a box. In a box. I've been in a box. Yes. I've mm-hmm. been in my own box. Mm-hmm. I've been in this box for 50 years. Almost. Am I 51? I think I'm 51 now. Okay. <laughs> I've been in that box for a while and it's been lovely. Mm-hmm. I cannot complain. Mm-hmm. You know, which is why I don't fantasize. Mm-hmm. If it comes in my head, mm-hmm. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm making ways to do it. I'm not, just, mm-hmm. I'm not the type to sit down and think about it and think about it. And then, no. I see it. I do it. I'm going to do it. I will I do it. it. I did it. You I know? love that. So I've done the Michelle thing. Yes. yes. Get out of the Michelle box. Yes. 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 Yeah. So surrender. I'm yeah. out of that box. Wow. Powerful. Yeah. I like that. Thank Last you. one. The <laughs> last one to her. Um, continue to love. Continue to give. Now, mind you, I didn't say whom you should love and give because a lot of times when we do that, we don't put ourselves in that that arena. Or we're we're thinking, oh, I'm thinking outside of myself. Mm-hmm. No, I think in order to be purposeful for anyone, mm-hmm. you have to be purposeful to yourself. Yes. yes. Be purposeful to yourself. What do I need? And sometimes you, I don't call that being selfish. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to say, hey, I need to learn how to soothe my heart. Mm-hmm. I, need, I mm-hmm. need to learn how to comfort my mind. Mm-hmm. I need to learn how to pamper myself. Mm-hmm. I'm still talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Pamper myself. Love me mm-hmm. so that I can give and be of service to others. That is the purpose. Wow. That is the purpose. Beautiful. Yes, because how can you give love if you cannot love yourself? I wrote that in a poem one time. <laughs> yeah, very true. Wow. How can I give love if love is not known to? Yes, so true. Powerful. Yeah. Ladies, write that down. Yeah. Yes. So oh. That's my... Thank you, Michelle. Thank you oh, for having thank me. Thank you. <laughs> So where can our uh, people, uh, our watchers, our fans, our family find out more about you? Um, you can go to Facebook. I'm on Facebook, Michelle David. I'm also there under two platforms for Michelle David um, and the Gospel Sessions. And then there's a fan page, 
or public page mm -hmm. for Michelle David and the Gospel Sessions. You, sh you can also go to www.thegospelsessions.com. You can find me there on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm Rhodesia. That's a long story about who she is. <laughs> but Rhodesia, R-O-D-E-S-I-A, and uh, the number two, and uh, that's me on Instagram. Uh, Twitter is Michelle David. Mm -hmm. You can find me. Okay. And, uh, go to YouTube. You can see all the videos. Like, 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 <laughs> like. iTunes, Bold.com, Amazon. You can buy the record, uh, The Gospel Sessions, Volume 1 and Volume 2. We're coming out with Volume 3 very soon. So. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. So I'm going to write down all the information uh, for you for you all out there. So yes. You're going to find it. So I want to thank you, Michelle, for being oh, part of the thank interview you for, having for me. A Woman of Purpose. Wonderful and continued and success. Oh, and you are absolutely a woman of inspiration. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. So I want to thank you all for watching the interview, and I hope that you all have been inspired to tap into that what God has given you and to step out in faith, because we all have a purpose. So like the video, uh, thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to know more, find out more, and check out the information about Michelle, and stay up to date for more, and I'm going to bless you guys, ladies, and we'll see you next time. Ciao!